Oh, and I didn't mention this before, but they did change the models of some of these things. So I also need to make a door for... Also want to burn this. And the raw fish as well. So in the meantime... I'm going to make a crude door. Now I did have a problem with this in version 1.15 in that if you constantly open and close it, it eventually like breaks and then you have to pick it up and place it again. But I believe they actually changed it so it doesn't do that anymore. Even has a nice animation. Yeah, so it doesn't break anymore. I just burn that. Also get rid of this. So we got some protein. Actually, we don't need to eat it just yet. And then what I want to do is... No, not a club. We're going to do some panning since I couldn't find any, uh, couldn't find the uh, play. What we're going to do is do some panning here. Is this really the only thing I can do at this point in time? And it's cooked. Oh, that's also... Put this peat away. A good ma the majority of the time I spent on that first day was just getting all of my inventory stuff up and running, getting tools and getting this base up and running. Now that we have at least this basic stuff, we can start uh, exploring a little bit more on the second day. Try to locate more resources. Like, I still need that clay. And right now, all I'm really doing is panning. The reason I need to do that is because uh, my next primary goal is to get uh, 40 copper nuggets. That way I can start making copper tools, like metal tools. A lot better than the flint tools that I'm using right now. Right now, I'm not getting much. I got this flint arrowhead. And that's really it. I hope they did not nerf panning. Oh, I got zinc. And I got conglomerate. Giving me a bunch of arrowheads. This is why I don't like panning. It's like so slow and tedious, but it's the only thing I can be doing. Here we go. Native copper. That's what I'm looking for. All right, two copper nuggets. Now, my inventory is full, so... If I get something new, it's just going to drop to the ground here. But right now, I got three copper nuggets. Now, if I can find some tin, that would be a lot better because then I can tech straight to bronze tools. Like, I really don't want to be stuck in doing copper for very long, if that makes sense. I remember in the last playthrough, it's like a single play session and I already had a copper pickaxe. Everyone's like, oh, you gotta slow down. You gotta take your time. I don't really want to do that. Like, I want the good stuff, like, right away. 
That way I can focus on exploration later on. Nothing dropped on the ground. Now for these arrowheads, like, you can have a bow and arrow, but I found it to be not as great as just carrying around a bunch of spears. Alright, we're 10% of the way there. And that's pretty much why I avoid bows and arrows. It's like just very clunky to use, doesn't do much damage, and on top of that, you, there's a chance that you'll actually lose the arrow. Like, you don't get it back, it doesn't drop into the ground, so... Don't really like throwing that away. And having to make like more arrows constantly, especially in this game where it's like so hard to get those arrowheads. Like it's an obscene amount of work. Ah, here we go. So, let's just... I guess put these away for now. Oh look, we got some blue clay! I guess we can start something with it. But I need an actual deposit, not like just getting it from panning. And then I guess that's all I'm gonna do for the time being. Let's eat this fish. Cooked fish doesn't give you much. What the hell? Cooked poultry doesn't give you much either. What the hell? So I need to harvest a lot of fish just to get, like, a lot of my hunger out of the way. I don't like that. So for the time being, I guess I'm sticking with berries. Let's munch on this. Okay, rift activity is low, so the... Drifters are spawning. And the drifters are the enemies in this game. That you'll encounter. And the first thing I need... I need raw cooking pots. And... Can't really do anything with that anymore. What time is it? Oh, it's 2 o'clock. Uh, let's try to... I guess... Let's take... This back. Still got an extra shovel. You know what? Go ahead. Start. Like harvesting more blocks. Okay. If we're attacked by drifters. We're heading straight back into the. Oh what's his face? The house that I built. It's not really a house though. It's like a hollow block of stuff. Oh, you should put the torch in my offhand. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm thinking to the patch notes that I read for version 1.18. Apparently you need like wooden tongs to handle like the metal stuff, the really hot stuff. Because you can't just grab onto them anymore and pick them up. Like, you actually have to handle them. You have to put the wooden tongs into the offhand and then pick them up. I mean, that change sounds so annoying, but we'll see when we get there. Okay, let's get four more. There we go. Yeah, it's in this direction over here that we're hearing the wolf. Okay, um... Oh, we should get four more blocks. Oh, 
probably should do something with the horse tail. Uh, you know what? Uh, we don't need feathers. Like, all the stuff that we don't need, let's put it with a trader. And actually, also put away this thing right here. And there we go. It's it's already bright enough, so I'll just head out now. Or well, you know what? Let's talk to this guy. Like, why gears? Well, they're limited, they're durable, and they're frankly useless to us. Perfect for currency. Wish they weren't so damn heavy, though. Surely you could find something better to use? Truth is, these gears mean something special to most folks. We have no idea why they're out there, but you can find them in the old places of the world. Or deep under the surface, if you dare. They're the seeds of the past, they're a promise of the future, and like as not, many of us can feel God's grace upon them. They're part of something greater, as are we all. These are holy symbols to us, and what could make for better trade than that which is sacred? Really, you could find something better to use. What, you can't reproduce them? Afraid not. You could always pour some ore in the mold and then leave it in the rain for a while. You have yourself a rusty gear, sure, but there is a precision and uniformity to these that's remarkable. They're tough as hell, too. Not sure what sort of alloy was used to make them. Some folks believe they weren't made by human hands at all, but rather by something greater. Like machines. I see. Why live out here? Most people live in the vigil villages, hold up and cautious of any threats. And there certainly are threats, as you've likely seen. Not me, though. I like it out here. And besides, there's a profit to be made. What are those horrible creatures? Ah, those miserable souls. Cursed ones. Drifters. Hmm. Yeah, that's the enemy I was talking about. They come and go, lost in grief and rage. Punished by guard, they were... They could seek atonement, but nay, all they wish to do is spread more misery. Punished by God, what crime could lead to such a dreadful fate? They challenged God himself, and God cast them down into the earth to wriggle like worms. They remain there still in the deep. It's not safe down below, not safe at all. Okay, the beasts are ravenous. Is wealth really worth all the risk? Of course, wealth is a virtue unto itself. There may yet come a time when the great arcs appear before us, and if that happens, I would show them the fruits of my labor. I would lay out before them my gears, my gold and silver, and everything else I have gathered. And if I am deemed worthy, I will join them on their endless journey. I'd live in a nice, safe village if I could. Goodbye. Or got anything to trade? I checked this before. Goodbye. Anyway, it is daytime. Head out. I'm going to put this back into my inventory. And I'm going to take four more blocks. Just to get rid of this stack right here. Okay. So that's a mountainous area over there. I'm not gonna go there just yet. I do want to pick up these sticks on the ground. So at this point in time, let's harvest some this stuff. And you know, what? yeah, let's harvest the rye as well. So what I usually like to do on this second day is go out and harvest some crops here. Now for the rye specifically, what I like to do is harvest either the spelt or the rye. So now that I picked up rye, if I see any spelt, I'm just going to ignore it. And then when I 
pass through the area again on another trip. Uh, I could just pick up the spelt. Pick up whatever, like, I didn't pick up. Now, these carrots I tend to ignore because it's a K crop. It a, uses uh, potassium to grow. K is potassium, right? I'm already forgetting this. But basically, I don't want to use K crops because the flax that I want to be growing, where's the flax? Right here, is also a K crop and it uses the K nutrients. So I want to save that for the flax. But the rye and spelt, those are end crops. They use nitrogen to grow. So I want to use that as well. And then these vegetables, the onions, these are pea crops. So what usually happens is we get a nice crop rotation going. Where we use like one nutrient in the soil at a time. And then we rotate it. Yeah, this is rye. We were collecting rye. So, uh, we rotate the crops. We put some flax down first, and then maybe some onions, and then the spelt or rye. And while it's growing one crop and draining one resource, the other two are being replenished. Now here's the spelt I was talking about. We already have rye, so I don't want to fill up my inventory with that. We'll get it on the next crop run. Definitely need to try and get as much flax as possible. Oh my god, there's the clay! There's the clay. It's in... It's right next to this pond here. Uh, we'll have to come back for it. Right now, I want to explore this area. Now, at the same time I'm gathering these crops, I'm also looking out for uh, copper. Because there are surface copper things, like little pieces of copper that are just on the ground. And I also mark the location because uh, there's also copper that you can mine underneath the surface. But for that, I need the pickaxe. Oh, there's another trader nearby. And there's a hole here as well. Oh, and look at this. This is a rift. If you get close to it, your stability goes down. Whoa! Did you hear that? Did they add more sound? Wow. But anyway, these things, avoid them. Just avoid them. Because they will damage your stability. Right now, it's turning clockwise, so my stability is going up. Seeds, uh, I'll have to get that later. But yeah, avoid those rifts. This... Is another luxuries trader. So we got two luxuries trader for some reason. Like what I want is a commodities trader. That way I can like buy stuff. Like buy the copper ores, tin ores, just so I can like progress faster. That's what I did in the last playthrough. I spawned near a commodities trader. And I actually had access to two commodities trader, I believe. So I was able to get stuff going like pretty quickly in the early game now we're getting to a bit of a hilly area probably should avoid this in the meantime I'm just gonna collect more of the flint Okay, I think it's time to eat. Well, let's just explore the boundaries of this biome. In the meantime, I'm almost gonna eat. I always gotta remember to eat.
Whoa, whoa, jeez. Why is it bright down there? You know what? Let's collapse this. Let's try to collapse this. Like, why is it bright down there? Is there, like, a hole there? Uh, why can't I collapse this? Come on. Oh, probably a bad idea, because now this stuff is flowing down. You know what? Can I just collect these? Real quick. It seems like collapsing the dirt here doesn't yield too many blocks anymore. I don't like that. But yeah, it looks like... Yeah, the light is coming from over here. It's... Like, it doesn't cascade anymore the way I want. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. And just falls into that hole there. Yeah, so anyway. It's another hole over here as well. Well, it's one of those holes that are, like, providing light down there. Just continue in this direction. Okay, really gotta not worry about caves at this point in time. What, I'm what I want to do is find some copper, like find resources that I can use. There's a hole here. Oh, look at that ravine. I don't know if it's called a ravine, but look at that. It's, it goes pretty deep. What the hell is that? Now, did they introduce... Water monsters in this version. I kind of forget. They introduced the salmon, but... I'm going to assume... That all they added to the water was the fish. Now, okay, we got some... I think that's brown coal. Got to confirm this. It is brown coal, yeah. Alright, so we have access to brown coal. So we don't really need charcoal at this point. Or, yeah, we do need charcoal, but... We have an alternative to charcoal. That's what I meant to say. Oh, I don't really like this area. Too much verticality. And it looks like there's more brown coal over there. Let's double check. Some damage. Alright, so we have access to brown coal. And lots of it. So we can just mine that. Save us some hassle of making charcoal. But we will need some charcoal eventually, because we can't just use brown coal for, like, steel or some other later items, but... Well, I guess we'll worry about that later. Some more sheep. What is this? Huffball. Nah. Oh, we got another rift over here. Avoid those rips.
Oh yeah, I think it's time to head back. Got another clay deposit. Or, this is fire clay. We're gonna need some of that as well, but... Not for... A while. What the- Oh shit. What is that? I mean... It looks like a bear, but I'm not gonna go and check. You know? I still don't have armor up yet. Okay, I'm not finding any more crops. I don't think they grow in this area. Yeah, we definitely need to be going back in this direction. Ooh, here we go. Nice ruin. There's like four things in this ruin. How badly do I want them? Not badly enough. This is... Mature... Oh yeah, this, this is an apple tree. That grows apples. Duh. And we got some Terra Preta. And I, how did the hell did I fat finger F5? So what I'm going to do is mark the location with this pillar. I just need to make my way back to base. I think it's over here. Oh, here's some ruins. Where are you? Seeds. There's another rift over here. Okay, it stopped raining. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's just light this place on fire. Now the reason that I'm lighting this place on fire is to clear out the brush. Like give me a lot more vision of this area. And then, this will slowly clear out the area all by itself. Now, turnips, I don't need that. Yeah, so here's a trader. Now, I'm avoiding that area over there in particular because I know there's wolves over there. So, I'm going to be continuing to explore towards the east. And I'm going to take full advantage of the... Trader's storage here because he does have like three storage chests. I stored it in the middle, right? I probably only need one stack of this. So anyway, uh, we'll store the seeds in here. I guess this stuff and the flax fibers. And that should be good. Gonna head out again. Like, I need to get that clay. Need to get our clay forming stuff going. 